What's up guys? I wanted to make a better I Hate Geeks and Gamers video because I don't... That video was made a long time ago before I made videos the current way I do. And I want to make an updated, better video about why Geeks and Gamers Sex is a channel. And the first clip I'm going to show you is one uh, from a video where a person named Odin, who isn't a major part of the channel anymore, from what I understand. I have watched Geeks and Gamers for years, but... This is one of my favorite videos to show what's wrong with geeks and gamers. And it's a simple clip. I'm going to show it to you. This is from a video made back in February 28th. Uh, sorry, March 1st, 2020, 2020, where he breaks down the box office and has some words to say about Invisible Man. And obviously, I think there's some debate to be had about whether or not the film is focusing on certain political elements or whether it is just a fun thriller film. Again, you can agree with me or disagree with me on that point. All I can say, though, is that that film is making money. It only costs... Now, to some people, that clip might seem very innocent. Like, what's the big deal? He, you know, he said, the, he, he said you can agree or disagree with him. He's just saying... The movie is making some note of political elements, but here's here's why he believes that it's political. Here's the reason why. Basically, in the movie is this. There is a girl who breaks up with her boyfriend, and then he becomes invisible and starts stalking her. So he thinks it's a woke movie because the fact that um, that there is a woman being attacked by a man. So what he is essentially doing here is what this channel complains about nonstop, which is we're putting politics into stuff where it doesn't belong. Oh, how dare uh, woke people put politics where it doesn't belong? But that's literally what he's doing. This movie has nothing to do with politics, but yet he's saying it does. He's addressing it. And he's addressing it without addressing it. Because if you notice from his tone, it's very obvious he does not believe what he's saying. But he's supposed to do it because where he's posting this video, which is Geeks and Gamers. Which is a channel that's supposed to call out politics and make people angry and say shit that isn't true to make you angry. And that's what he's doing. It, and... The reason that I, you can tell that the reason I probably pulled him off of the channel is, from what I understand, he's still not there. Um, he's not there anymore on this channel. Is most likely because he wasn't doing a good job at making people angry, so he didn't bring in the views. That's how Geeks and Gamers makes its money, and you can't you can't do the shit where you say, "Oh, it's so wrong for them to insert." political stances where it doesn't belong. Really? Because that's what you're doing right here. You're saying, hey, this Invisible Man movie, it's woke because it stars a woman and the man is the bad guy. So what? Just because that's in a movie doesn't mean it's saying something. And you claiming it does, frankly, you know what this makes you look like? It makes you look like a sexist. And people say, well, will you, that's, that's what they get really mad about. Well, why do they get mad about it? If you're not a sexist, why would you get mad about being called a sexist? I think he's, a, I think these people are sexist because he is drawing attention to the sex of these people in this movie and making note of it as if it's an issue. I'm just saying, you are, and you can't deny that you are, because you are. So now we're actually going to get into Jeremy's videos, which uh, I'm probably going to end up laughing a lot, because this man is a joke. Um, he just is, and he is going to be really funny, so we're going to watch a bunch of his videos and make fun of this piece of garbage human, because the reality is, you need to understand about geeks and gamers. They do not believe the stuff that they say. But they, other people do. And, um, and so, like, they're putting on an act. And so I'm just going to, so the reality is they're making other people angry by preaching lies all day. Like saying this stuff that's very not true. They don't even believe themselves. And they're saying that. 
right? Um, so they say that a lot. You know, that they believe everything they say, but they really don't. And there's been proven evidence. You can look around all over the place for it. I'm not going to go into all the evidence. I don't think that's important for this video, but I am saying that they don't believe what they do say, but we're going to treat them as a joke because they are. You, they're bad people because even though that the stuff that they're saying they don't believe, which is a lot of the stuff that they believe is objective, if they believed it would be objectively wrong anyways. But what I'm saying here is, because other people they make other people believe it, even though they themselves don't believe it or enforce what they say, it makes them a bad person because they're making other people angry and they're trying to profit off. And if you say, hey, well, that's a good business, they're making money, you'd be right, they are making money, but the reality is it's like if a drug dealer walked up to you and said, hey, I need to do this to feed my family. And the reality is, no, you don't. You can make money the honest way and get a good paying job and do all that, but you refuse to do that. And yeah, I mean, that's the reality of it. No, you do not need to do that. And neither do these people need to spend hours a day creating videos, posting them, editing them, putting them together to make people angry in a society right now that is always angry and frustrated with the news and what's going on in the world, who is dealing with enough uh, depression and anxiety from the way the world is going. You know, they're not putting good content into the world. They're making more anger and frustration. What's up, and Geeks just, and Gamers? Yeah, it's I mean, Jeremy coming so to you with another video. You know, and content, today we're going to talk about Don't treat them this seriously. video on, what is this, Charisma on Command, which is um, a very, very successful channel, two and a half million subscribers. And uh, this video was sent to me <laughs> so many times. People want me to watch it because obviously I've done a lot of videos on Brie Larson and uh, her interviews and how she's perceived and how she comes across and I watched this entire video this is a great video you can actually learn a lot probably going to tune into this channel more because I will acknowledge some of my mistakes during this video something brief <laughs> we're not even one minute into this video not even like 30 seconds into it and he's already like breaking character he had like this snarky laugh I don't even know if it, anyone caught that but me but it was like bro you don't believe what you're saying. Shut up, please. Like, you're such a joke. Larson doesn't seem to want to do. But I want to focus on, and we're not going to watch the whole video here, but we're going to focus on this first part where it's uh, reading, uh, reading negative intent in an ambiguous situation. And we're going to talk about how Brie Larson handled it versus how I've handled that same scenario. Brie's Wired interview has this repeatedly. Go to college. No! Would Brie Larson work out? Like, hypothetically, would I at some point? Is that like a personal attack? Man, dude, you are a piece of <laughs> How Brie Larson handles negative intent in a negative situation. Bro. You f yell about fake negative intent all day. Wow, Disney wanted to put diversity in a in the Star Wars. Man, I, I, I totally intended to, like, cover the rest of this video, but I couldn't do it because this video is actually hot, like, burning garbage because it's so boring. Basically, like, the video is, like, the videos he's commenting has nothing to do with Brie Larson. Basically, Brie Larson is in the video, but, like, they're trying to teach people how to, like, interpret negative intent through, like, body language and, like, verbal language, things like that. And he's commenting to it saying, well, you know, Brie Larson handles it so bad and Jeremy's so great at it. But Jeremy is the type of guy who blocks people on Twitter, whatever social media, they say any negative crap about him. You know, this is the guy who always says, I've heard him say this in videos in the past. Hey, follow me uh, on Twitter. You can follow me and, you know, I'll let you on the channel. We'll have a nice, healthy discussion. But if he doesn't like what you have to say, he will block you. And he will not let you on his channel to fight with him. He is not have, he is not this great guy who's so willing to have good conversations and, you know, have actual arguments. 
because he doesn't have arguments. He's a piece of garbage. And I'm sorry, little Jeremy, if that hurts your little feelings. If you need to go, uh, if you need to go to therapy and figure out how to have concern for other people, not spend all day whining about useless shit and making them angry and profiting off their anger. Be my guest. I'd love to see you do that. You're you're a great piece of shit. All right. Let's stop talking about boring Brie, Brie Larson nonsense. Let's talk about his Star Wars videos. His Star Wars videos are just my favorite. Let's get into this one. <laughs> What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you this with another so video. And today, Jeremy we are talking about Disney Star Wars, and I am very, very excited, excited to do so. To Wait a minute. Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers is excited to talk about Disney Star Wars? Why on earth would he be excited to talk about Star Wars? You realize well, that makes we're talking you about a former a actress like, in a Star Wars a movie, Star a Star Wars. If you're only excited to talk about Star Wars when there's bad stuff to talk about. And he's also talking about Solo. Now, Solo failed back in 2018. Do you know what year it is, Jeremy? It is 2021. We have all moved past this. Yes, I get this is a new interview. But for you to still be ranting like as if Solo is still a big news story, its failure isn't. And this actress is just talking about her character's death and how she was disappointed in it. Which, guess what? I like Solo. I watched the movie. I was disappointed in it, too. I thought that her, Rio Durant, and, um, and, um, and Val there. Yeah, she's Val. Um, could have made, like, the movie better by their presence being in the movie, but that didn't happen. And I was okay with the direction that the movie went, but I still would have preferred those characters a lot more. Um, you know, but like, yeah, an actress is allowed to express her disappointment. Sorry. Star Wars movie <laughs> that happened to lose money. It's called Solo. This but this actress is, is very, like, very frustrated with Lucasfilm, like and she's sharing her frustrations. All, this is the same no, Lucasfilm that has alienated all of their hardcore fans for yes, social justice. Most of the this is the same Lucasfilm that has pandered and told you that people of color are important, that you have to believe all women. They made this is that dollars. company, and now this actress is letting doing. everyone know there that she's very, very like unhappy with how movies. the first black like female movies, character like in the history of the Star I'm Wars universe here. was a portrayed. Fan. How dare you, Kathleen Kennedy? How dare you, executives at Lucasfilm? Why would you disrespect you a person of color? I am literally yeah, shaking right now. It's going like to be difficult things. to read this and article. Also, Jeremy, are you forgetting that The Mandalorian is incredibly popular? And, yeah, it's a great, um, it's a great series. And it, and it, Honors a lot of the hardcore fans. You know why? Because the hardcore fans know a characters like Ahsoka. You know, my grandpa, who has seen all the original movies and all the new movies, he didn't he didn't see uh the Clone Wars. He doesn't know about Ahsoka. He doesn't know about um you know Mandalorians. He doesn't know about uh Bo Katan. You know, he doesn't know about any of that stuff. And for you being the piece of garbage you are to come in here and say, Hey, oh, really? I wanted all their fans. No, they didn't. And first of all, they did not say you need to respect all women. Nobody said that. Yes, they were trying to put diversity into Star Wars. Diversity is a good thing. Okay. Yes, the way they went about it was wrong. But you acting like the diversity itself was the problem and not their approach to doing it makes you a big freaking sexist and racist. Again, it was the approach of how they did it, not the diversity itself. And yes, this actress is disappointed that she was the first black female Star Wars character, which, by the way, she was not. 
she's probably the first one in a movie. Yeah, I think she's the first one in a movie, um, the bl first black female character, but she's, you know, in the books and stuff. But, um, yeah, she's expressing that, that she was disappointed with what they did with her character. She's allowed to be disappointed. Can because of the pain in my heart the rest of this video, that Tandy Kathleen Newton is feeling, but we're going to get through this together like this. because we First have all, to expose the toxicity Kennedy. of one Kathleen Kennedy Kennedy's and Lucasfilm. Let's jump right into it. She Tandy Newton was given. Uh, she was given little warning that she was about to become the head of a big company owned by her former boss, George Lucas. Okay, then Disney came in and said, hey, we want three movies, and there's no going back on that. If she denied them to make three movies, she was going to lose her job. So, yes, the reason the movie sucked was not because, oh, uh, forced diversity or any of that shit that you guys are complaining about. It sucked because normal filmmaking problems, which is that they didn't have a plan and they had some writing issues. And they didn't have a lot of cohesion be between writers and creators. That happens. That's how filmmaking works. It's not a problem of diversity. It's a problem of bad storytelling. You piece of shit. The next part of this thing is, I also want to say this. Kathleen Kennedy is, yes, a lot of what happened with Solo was her fault. And same thing with some of the issues with Rogue One and them doing like reshoots and crap. She probably should have had a better hand on that. But she since learned from that, let creatives have freedom and created the Mandalorian, which by the way, real Star Wars fans, which you are not, like the Mandalorian. They think it's a great show. She, she She's also, she brought back the Clone Wars, which real Star Wars fans like. She greenlit the Bad Batch, which real Star Wars fans like. She spearheaded this High Republic book movement, which real Star Wars fans like. You are not a real Star Wars fan. I'm sorry, you're not. Speaks out against her Star up, Wars like, character's death. Like, By the way, Solo the actor revealed like, her Solo yeah, character wasn't killed off in the script. By the way, years Solo lost money. Solo um, in an interview with Inverse, the movie came out in May. 2018. Yes, we know the movie flopped. That has nothing to do with the article you're reading. She is just complaining about her being disappointed with how her character turned out, which, by the way, she is allowed to do. All right, is your audience this stupid that you have to hold their hand and just explain to them every four seconds and make sure they're paying attention? Go, yes. And Solo lost money. Solo lost money. Like, you have to, like, hold their hand and go, here. Here, I guess your audience must be dumb because they believe you lies all the time, you piece of shit. <laughs> to promote her appearance in the new movie, Reminiscence, Tandy Newton spoke of the death of Val, the character she portrayed in 2018's Solo, a Star Wars story. Solo lost money. Um, and they're like brave and this is a brave and stunning. Like when I saw this poster, I realized that we as a species have finally taken the important step to having representation in Star Wars. And I stood up and I clapped because I was happy. Um, so here's Tandy Newton as Val. And by the way, I like Tandy Newton as an actress. I don't, I saw like most of Solo after someone, by the way, Solo lost money. I saw, I literally can't say it without saying Solo lost money. I can't do it. But, um, <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I saw like most of it after someone sent it to me and they were like, we want you to watch it. It was painfully boring. It wasn't as offensive as, you know, the sequel trilogy, but it's still just not very entertaining. But either way, I don't really remember her character, but I have seen her in a lot of different things, and I think she's actually a really good actress. She's really talented. I've always enjoyed her in all of the various things I've seen her in. Um, 
So this is this is just nonsense to bring this up. And, and again, this is why they, people, the social justice crowd, they ask for representation. They say how important it is, and then you give them the representation, and then they complain about how the representation. I guess I was right. You. You do have to hold their hand, and you do have to explain to them that Solo lost money every freaking five seconds. Man, I hate you so much. I hate you, man. I really freaking hate you. I have no respect for you because even though that I know that you don't believe what you're saying in this video, any of the stuff that you're saying on any of your videos, you're still profiting off of people's anger and making people angry in times where people need some actual happiness and you could be uploading positive good content about stuff you actually do like and your actual real feelings if you want to have negative feelings i have negative feelings about a lot of the stuff uh not all my reviews on this channel are positive videos but you know what i'm not someone who goes into things actively looking for an angle to hate and attack it before i even see it Man, if any Geeks and Gamers fans are watching this video and try to make the argument that J Jeremy's not racist and sexist, just look at this clip. This clip where he accuses Kathleen Kennedy of favoring white women over black women. Because it was portrayed there was a white because woman once you enter a social justice conversation movie. in any way, shape, or form, you have already I don't lost. Even know how to respond to because this they shit. will like, never, ever, 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 just... ever be satisfied. And this is happening right in front of our very eyes once again. Um, according to the interview, Val, who was the first black female protagonist to appear on the big screen in the long-running Star Wars series, thank you for mentioning that. Thank you, you brave and stunning writer. How on earth, how on earth did they let this happen? How could you let this happen? Did not die in the draft of the script Newton received prior to filming. Instead, she vanished off screen after an explosion, leaving her character's fate in question, allowing for a subsequent Guys, return, we need to wrap much like this Amelia up. Clark's character. It, but Amelia Clark like is a white woman. So it's fake, clear where Kathleen not, Kennedy like, I uh, is, is viewing this, this where videos. she wants the white woman to continue on the story, um, I, but she's holding I, the black female that back. Some man wants to, that is toxicity, uh, Kathleen you know, Kennedy, and we will not tolerate toxicity, will we? That you... You need you know, to be held accountable. Loss. You need Star to be Wars better, Kathleen Kennedy. Um, always, so yes, of course, uh, Amelia you know, Clark's uh, is Akira. Like, <clears throat> I don't know. Look at the prequels. You know, Samuel I, I Jackson did not was watch a black this entire Jedi. movie. Uh, um, who was know, recently appeared in the panels the of Clone War Wars of the Bounty Hunters. You know, According to Newton, uh, when it came to the film scene, having the character fall off the screen proved to be too complicated. people angry over... Lots of franchises right now. A lot of his videos are doing it about Snake Eyes and other things, and it's just it's sad because I am a fan of Star Wars. Okay, I own every movie uh, over there. I own the complete series of Star Wars Rebels. I own the Clone Wars movie. I have lots of the Lego stuff on DVD and Blu-ray. Um, I have um, you know some fun i have a lot of star wars funko pops i have star wars plushies just all kinds of star wars merchandise you know new and old new and old and i'm a big fan of star wars and to see someone who's turning so many people against star wars not because it's just genuinely bad and he's just offering valid critiques but because he just wants to profit off of your anger. It's not even like he believes this, these critiques he's saying. They're fake. They're lies. And as a real Star Wars fan, I am disgusted by all this. And I think it's not okay for uh, geeks and gamers to do this. And we need more people need to speak out about geeks and gamers. You know, when I look at geeks and gamers rant videos, I do that from time to time because... Not because I want people to actively go out and hate this channel. What I want people to do is discuss. And rant is just the easiest way to search it up. And so I, you know, I, I want people to go out there and discuss some of the crap that they do and speak out against them. But not enough people are doing it. And it's really sad because the reality is Geeks and Gamers is one of the worst channels on YouTube. Um, because 
instead of in a time where, where the world is literally falling apart, where people are dying from a deadly virus uh, while, while, they're, uh, while we're dealing with global warming, all kinds of other issues where people are angry, upset, frustrated, uh, scared for their future, for their lives, you know, all these different things. Instead of, instead of bringing positivity into this world, or even if you're going to be negative, offering valid critiques or and you know ways of being improving it, you know, he continues to profit off of the anger and frustration of people who are already suffering, because the whole world is suffering and it's unfortunate. And I cannot stand this channel. It is a piece of garbage channel. No one should ever watch this. Thank you. Have a good day. My name is Jeremy, and I'm from Geeks and Gamers, and you can follow me on Twitter, and I'll block you if you disagree with me. Thank you guys for watching.